Welcome back. In the this is part five, we got this dude all tied up or something. Let's see. Let's see what's going Initiate. on. Initiate. You've come at the right time. We've been talking to Doctor Blackburn and going over Scribe Valdez's report on what you found in Vault Ninety Six. This smug monster is practically bragging about torture and unleashing horrors on the world, and Romani is treating him with kid gloves. I am not bragging. What I have done was necessary. I take no pride in those terrible acts. I will have to live with the shame of them forever. That weight does not, however, diminish that the ends were worth the means. You will learn that soon enough. My colleagues will see that our creation, a vast improvement on the FEV, is distributed shortly. Do you see the arrogance, the self-justification? We should end him and be done with it. If all he had done was create more super mutants, I would agree. The scribe's report just adds more crimes to the list. It's not that simple. Preventing Dr. Blackburn's associates from taking this horror any further must be our priority. And we may need the doctor to convince them. My colleagues have a laboratory hidden beneath the headquarters of my former employer, West Tech. We intend to correct the FEV's mistakes at their birthplace. Poetically appropriate, would you not agree? My colleagues have a facility better suited to final testing and mass production of the virus. As we speak, they are preparing for its release into the air and water of Appalachia. Once dispersed, it will enter the precipitation cycle in groundwater, and then it cannot be stopped. No! It could spread for hundreds, maybe thousands of miles! That is your goal, not mine. But I am not a soldier, and would not withstand strenuous interrogation well. No minor delay on my part. Perhaps my cooperation will allow us to make a case for the good we are about to do, and convince you of our cause. Impossible. We could never support something so abominable. Yes. If the doctor's associates are preparing to distribute the virus, we have to put our emotions aside here and get to them before they can. Blackburn's punishment, whatever its form, can wait until Appalachia is safe. Head to West Tech. Find and secure the entrance to this lab, and we'll follow behind. Hm. I don't like this, Romani. We should be done with him here and now and level this laboratory. This is just like what Elder Maxim faced at Mariposa. Or have you forgotten? Elder Maxon came oh. to regret acting rashly there. Or have you forgotten? If they've already begun producing the virus, blowing up the place could just help spread it. We'll need to be a bit more delicate than that. Very well. If Blackburn is coming with us, I will be watching him. Perhaps he can provide leverage against his fellow lunatics. If I can prevent further loss of life, I will. Then it's decided. Initiate. Head for West Tech. We've no time to lose. See you there. Okay. Well, I thought the Mariposa thing... I thought Fallout 1 was, like, way later in the story. Because this is supposed to be, like, right after the bombs dropped. I don't know if... I don't know if the timing of that's right. I... I, I'm, I've watched a few uh, Oxhorn videos, so I know about the lore, but uh, I don't know what the timeline for Fallout 76 is, is exactly now. That seems uh, kind of weird. Because I thought they left before the whole Mariposa thing even like existed. So, we'll see. Maybe they fucked up their own lore. I don't know. Let's go check it. All right, we're, we're we're here. Let's uh do the thing. I'll just 
just ignore those guys. Let's see, uh, what's going on down here? I heard something. Oh. There's already people here. Gotcha. I'll just, uh, cook them real quick. Thanks the stem packs. Oh. Cockroach, oh no. Fries is gonna dislike the video. Yo, it's the promotional tubes from the, uh, from the, uh, the, the thing, the banner of the game. I want to kill these guys. Oh, I know, it's my friends. Enough, Shin. Let's catch up with our vanguard. Everything under control, Initiate. Let's not get overconfident. The Hellcats were likely here to protect Blackburn's associates from the super mutants above. Should we expect any further resistance? I am not aware of the details of the defensive measures my colleagues may have taken. I would not, however, expect them to tolerate trespassers. We should keep moving. As you wish. I am your prisoner, after all. I have little choice in the matter. Hmm. Dr. Farhad is nominally the head of their group, Headstrong, an old university colleague. Dr. Jane was a junior scientist at West Tech, brilliant but easily led. He shared my disgust at the Huntersville mistake. Nelly Wright, on the other hand, is Dr. Farhar's pet project, an adoptee of sorts. Very talented, despite her lack of formal schooling. That's cool. So yeah, Huntersville, like the little town near here, the FEV virus bled into the water, and they they were just seeing what would happen, and it turned them all into super mutants. A trap I conceived, prepared, and executed entirely while in your custody? You give me too much credit. Certainly. Let's move out. Eyes open. I think he is up to something, but uh, there's no point in saying it to his face, because I don't think he'll give us more options. I do like that they're fully in their power armor right now. This is like a full on assault. Edgar. Edgar, who are these people? What happened to the guards? The guards are dead, Dr. Farha. This is the Brotherhood of Steel. I have been their guest since they discovered our project. Regrettably, they object to what we are doing. We will not be intimidated. This facility is secured. You can't get to us. We will finish our work. This isn't the Huntersville strain. Dr. Blackburn has purified the virus of its considerable defects. We've made something wonderful out of something horrible. We're helping people this time. Well, no, not as such, but... Of course we have. Experimentation has identified the key flaws in the original strain. Iterative testing has pinpointed the defective genetic sequences, and we've corrected them in each case. Uh, 
Of course not. What West Tech did was a terrible mistake, an affront to science. They didn't care who they hurt, and they did it just to see what happened. We're trying to help people. This will make people safe again. Dr. Jane is enthusiastic, but it's true. We are not doing this just to satisfy our curiosity. We're advancing science itself. The cost doesn't matter. No offense to Dr. Jane, but West Tech wasn't doing science. They were only burning ants with a magnifying glass by comparison. We've run the simulations. All three of us triple checked the models and compared to prior experimental data. We're confident in the formulation. You know what they say? Human testing is the best testing. A large-scale release will provide a representative sample. Science needs vision, like Dr. Blackburn's, like ours. Let's not let testing hold us back. Huh. Well, sure, it might seem hasty, but... Don't be such a pushover, Janie. No, wait. I've also had my doubts. Perhaps we should discuss this after all. I can see you're troubled. You know what you're doing isn't right. Let's talk through this. We can come to an agreement. I want to avoid violence. But that's always on the table. As long as you hold Dr. Blackburn hostage. Let him go. Please, let him go or we will cut off this negotiation and proceed with our plans. I am afraid you will have to give in on this one. If you truly want to stop our distribution process, I advise you to listen to the doctor's entreaties. Allow me to explain. My colleagues could not stop production if they tried. It requires a code. I am the only one who knows the code. I set this plan in motion, and I am the only one who can stop it. Is this true, Edgar? You'll have to forgive Dr. Farhar. She did not know. I added this functionality to our distribution program, as insurance, you might say. Boy, that's handy, huh? So, there you have it. I am willing to help you in exchange for sparing my colleagues' lives. But you will have to let me in there with them. Trust me or trust me not, the truth remains the truth. Perhaps in the end, I am more willing to sacrifice the lives of strangers than friends and colleagues. I do not wish them to be harmed. My hypocrisy in this is only human. <sighs> uh, this is kind of dumb. I guess. I assure you, I have only a peaceful resolution in mind. We cannot seriously be considering this. I don't like it either. But what other option do we have? If we do nothing, the outcome will be just as catastrophic. Dr. Farhar, please permit me inside as a sign of good faith from the Brotherhood. I am certain we can negotiate a peaceful resolution and perhaps preserve our work at the same time. All right. I'm registering you for the security grid. Just you. With your leave? Don't make this worse. This is a mistake. Okay. Now that that is over with... Nelly, prep the test chamber. They want proof of our success. I will give it to them myself. Edgar, wait! Oh. I am sorry, but this must happen. You will see, and then there will be no more debate. Edgar, please. 
Let's He's gonna talk come into a huge super mutant or something. You've signed your death warrant, Blackburn. I will test the sample on myself and be proof of our achievement. Anything you do to me after does not matter. I'm going in. Ready the tag. I'm guessing he's gonna become a behemoth. We should have executed him when we had the chance. Now is not the time. We gotta find a way in quickly. There's no time to waste. Ooh. FEV flow rep, doctor. Ooh, boss battle. Session. He's gonna become a behemoth. Please, all of you, this isn't right. What's this? No, 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 no. What's happening? This, this can't be. Uh, the figures were correct. Yo, he's a super behemoth. What the? Yo. Yo, that was lit. I want to see more of those. What happens when we let people play God? This proves more than anything the need for our brotherhood. Edgar, he. I should have known. I did know. We weren't ready. I owe you an apology. Our work was a failure. Any good it might have done was a mirage. I. I knew it in my heart, but didn't listen. As a token of goodwill, I have used Edgar's code to stop production. We will not distribute the virus. I will make sure of that. But I will not simply let you in. There may be little I can do to stop you, but I will defend my colleagues in what little way I can. I must admit that I am powerless before you. If our cooperation can sway you to avoid more violence, then I will let you through. The way is open. We await your judgment. I don't think we should kill him. This whole sob story sounds like a trap. We can verify that once the area is secure and send for Scribe Valdez to double check. Until then, stay on your guard. You've arrived. Please, hear me out. We are scientists. Our work is all we have to give to this broken world. We had truly hoped to give humanity a better way to fight back. Against the radiation, the mutants, the decay of civilization. We failed. But this doesn't have to be the end. There is so much good that we can still do, please. Spare us your wrath. Why does it sound like you're giving up? We weren't that far off, just a tweak here or there. Uh, if I may interrupt, I agree with everything Dr. Farha has to say. Uh, despite how it looks, we are not evil people. We wish only to better humankind. Knowing that, what are your intentions with us? I uh, hope that's not a threat. The Brotherhood exists to keep humanity safe. And your work endangered everyone in Appalachia. If that failed virus had gotten out, countless people could have died. We can't allow you to continue experimenting. Wait, Shin. It's clear that we can't just let them go. But their knowledge could be valuable to the Brotherhood and the people of Appalachia. Blackburn was the ringleader, but he's gone. We know nothing about the others. And of all people, you and I shouldn't fault anyone for trying to make a difference. I can. And I will. 
Is this still about back then? You can't forgive yourself for your own mistakes, so you refuse to forgive others, too. When will you put that behind you? This has nothing to do with that. There will be no more experiments. And they're too dangerous to keep prisoner. Wait, you're really going to kill us? Hold on. We're not killing anybody. We will bring them back to Fort Atlas and have Scribe Valdez monitor their work. Have you lost your mind? Think about it. This is exactly why the Brotherhood exists. To safeguard technology. I hate to admit it, but the Elders are right on this. We can't let them go, but we can't destroy what knowledge they have either. A wise compromise. I'm willing to cooperate. You. The angry one. Consider the fact that universities are no longer operating. In a generation or two, there will be few, if any people left in the world with a formal education. How many dozens have you killed? Do you really think your life is worth more than theirs because of your education? We don't need your knowledge if you're deranged enough to resort to human experimentation. Uh, please, stop this. Uh, let us stop for a moment and talk to each other. There's still much that we haven't told you about our work. And we know little about your brotherhood. Perhaps we can find out more where our perspectives overlap. Yes. Maybe some discussion will cool Shin's head. I have no desire for this to come to blows. Very well. You haven't said anything yet. Surely you have an opinion on this matter. By all means. We won't be going anywhere. Mm. Mm. Those who commit crimes against humanity must be punished. It wouldn't be right to let them run free. Not to the people they killed, and not to the people they could kill in the future. The Brotherhood of Steel must protect the future of Appalachia, and of the world. I don't see what other option there is. As I stated before, they're too dangerous to hold prisoner. So we either ignore the danger, or eradicate it. That is... How long do you intend to sweep it under the rug like nothing happened? You're torturing yourself, Shin, and they deserve to know. Maybe so. But this is neither the time nor the place for this discussion. Shin, you owe it to yourself to admit that you made a mistake. Stop crumbling under the guilt and just accept it. I... For those I failed then, and those I failed since, for them, I have to do better. The raiders on the expedition route. Romani decided we would stay and fight them. But giving the order to distribute the weapons to the settlers there, it was my idea. I wanted to give them a chance. But I got them killed instead. The outcome is more important than the intent. What I learned from that mistake was not to let my feelings blind me. Some things are a lost cause. Some chances are too dangerous to take. As much as we may want to believe otherwise. The rocket launcher. We had secured those weapons, but there was a town beam. It didn't work. It's my... I can't... There's nothing to get over. I acknowledge that I've made poor decisions then and now. That's why I'm making a better decision today. You have to see that keeping these criminals alive would be misguided and reckless. Then I hope you'll also take... Whether I'm being dogmatic or not is irrelevant. 
My goal is to find a solution to a threat, and I don't see you offering any other suggestions. It hasn't been a matter of if for some time now. Only a matter of when. I'm fully prepared to uphold the integrity of the Brotherhood in whatever way Romani makes necessary. This is bigger than all of us. I hope you understand that. We need to come to an agreement. I won't stand for impulsive violence. The scientists are to return to Fort A- These are smart people. Their methods work. What matters is what- Then we must stand up for what we believe. We will not allow Shin to create a hateful brotherhood which passes judgment as it sees fit. This is human life. I'm glad to hear you say that. Unfortunately, I'm afraid it may be a breaking once he realizes his authority isn't respected. I suspect he'll run back. This chapter of the Brotherhood will become what it should be. With... I hope you can... I urge you to reconsider. This was never meant to come to violence. Dr. Farha may disagree, but I'd like to finish the FEV formula. We can implement new safety measures. Animal experiments on thorough waste disposal. We were so close to improving the human race as we know it. The world has changed, my friend. How are we to survive if we don't change with it? I never intended to hurt anyone. Please understand. And everything we did was for the... They are good... Can I selectively kill them? Like, I want to kill the lady with the hat. She's kind of annoying. I heard when the Brotherhood breaks down your door, they say, Add victory. Oh, wow. That's scary. I, uh... I don't have any arms. What about them? Is that any worse than being human? As Dr. Jane says, all life is sacred. You'd probably gun them down regardless, right? To improve the human race. If I was kidnapped for our experiments, I wouldn't mind. Most kidnappers do much worse. Oh, are you a licensed medical professional? Even if you are, it's pretty rude to make sudden, unwarranted diagnoses of people you just met. Okay, I... You're not... I think I'm gonna let them live. What questions do you have for me? They could, uh, or be more of a benefit. Made a decision? We could focus the idea of human evolution into a more targeted formula. Say, a formula to increase muscle bulk or, or to repel radiation. In fact, I hear serums of that sort may already be circulating among the survivors of the region. I'd like to study what they have created and improve upon it. And what has your organization decided? <sighs> that's a relief. I assure you that Hopefully you'll I don't have to kill Shin. So that's it then. You and Romani would repeat the mistakes of the past and use these criminals to build more weapons of destruction. To send the world further down the path of chaos for your own gain. All while wearing the Brotherhood insignia on your chest. The Brotherhood's mission has always been to use the power of science to guide us to a better world. Rather than murder great minds, we will shape them into people who will serve that mission. And we will do it without barbarians like you. On that point, we agree. I refuse to serve an illegitimate branch of a principled institution. The elders need to know about our failures. All of them. It will be my honor to give that report in person.
Smell you later. <laughs> I'm the only one with any sense of duty around here. It's a shame that I couldn't bring you around to seeing its value. It's easy to follow an arbitrary set of rules, Shin. I'd rather make my own decisions and learn from them if I have to. We are grateful. <laughs> the work runs we away. do next could still change the world. You go on ahead. I'll bring the scientists back to Fort Atlas, then we can discuss everything that's happened. Yo. Well, I think this is like the last mission, probably. Uh, let me just, you know, pick up the, the loot. I don't feel like looting the whole place, but, uh, some things. I wonder if this is like the, uh, oh god, Get off my screen. I wonder if this is like the other, uh, quest, the other brotherhood storyline, you can come back here and fight that boss multiple times, because that was pretty cool. I like that. Interesting boss fight. Um, I wish it was harder, but I know it can't be because I'm overpowered. Alright, let's go back. Friends, initiates, faces new and old. It's good to see you today. I am proud to announce that the mutant threat has been cornered and removed. But it came with an unfortunate consequence. I'm sure you all know that relations between Shin and I have been oh, it's that guy. strained for some time now. It's the guy from the farm. I'm afraid my leaving out his title is no mistake. Shin and his followers have decided to part ways with the Appalachian Brotherhood. I had every wish to work together with Shin on my mission, and still do. But he is no longer open to discussion. His loyalty to the Elders is unshakable. He would rescind his oath before besmirching the Brotherhood's name. Should he ever open his mind, I will be ready to listen. Now I have one more announcement to make. I'd like to recognize a particular initiate's exceptional contributions to our chapter. In most cases, this recognition would take the form of a standard rank increase. However, being a knight is a dedicated responsibility, and it's become quite clear to me that this initiate has obligations beyond just the Brotherhood of Steel. I won't take you away from Appalachia. As such, I'm granting you the unique title of Knight Errant. Why don't you come stand between Scribe Valdez and I so I may officially confer your title? So it looks like they're booing me. For exceptional contributions to the Appalachian Brotherhood of Steel, I hereby name you Knight Errant. You may split your time with the Brotherhood as you see fit. We are forever grateful for what you've done for us. Now everyone, feel free to take a short break before your next assignment. You've earned it. Did that really just happen? I knew things between the higher-ups were shaky, but I didn't think one of them would actually we leave, to you, especially Knight Shin. I mean, it seemed like the Brotherhood was everything to him. Well, I guess things are going to change a bit around here. Oh, I agree wholeheartedly. Look forward to it, even. Whatever reorganization we need to do, I'm sure it'll shake out into something even better than what we've got right now. Paladin Romani is the leader I want to follow. Anyway, I'm gonna get... Knight Errant. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's been what, an honor to serve what are we gonna do? Who's gonna handle everything? <sighs> okay.
Okay. Okay, I think I'm all right. I don't do well with really big changes. I think I'm just... I think I need some... I'm curious to see what happens if I do the other... the other side of it. So... Nightshin is gone. I can't believe it. I wanted to be optimistic about their conflict. Right up until the end. But the more I think about it, the more I feel like maybe this was inevitable. If only there was more I could have done. Well, both of them would die for their beliefs. At least this way, they can pursue those beliefs separately. Rather than killing each other over them. Well, that's going a bit far, isn't it? But yes. it's a very nice thing to say. Um... Thank you. <laughs> I do like just clicking the Ford options to see what happens. I'm going to keep doing my job. With one officer down, there's going to be a lot of slack to pick up. There's still a lot more I'd like to see out there, but right now, I need to support the Brotherhood. Don't mention it. As the resident scribe, it's my job to keep things functioning around here. Until next time. So, Knight Errant, how does your new title feel? <laughs> Clouding decorum, are we? You're lucky I'm into that. And yes, I have noticed you. Don't be a stranger. There will always be a place for you at Fort Atlas. At Victorium. Alright. Got a steam achievement too. Night That's cool. It's been an honor to serve oh you. shit, I got a whole Hellcat armor. Alright. Well. That's like all I could do. This is uh has been me playing through the whole Steel Dawn you, thing. We'll top in that Hellcat armor, see what it looks like, but uh Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um My first time doing a series like this. Hopefully I can figure out how to edit it and make it look cool. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you uh want give me some feedback if you want more of this kind of stuff oh that's freaking sick i look like a turtle yo -ho. turtle squad uh but yeah i think this is now the best armor in the game is it what is that little little insignia on it oh it just says hellcats well hope you enjoyed I did. It's pretty cool. I like this better than the first part. It did wrap up things. Sucks to see Shin leave, but, you know, had to do it. Had to do it to him. So, yeah. Probably see you guys in the, in the next one. Have a good day. Have a good night, whatever you're doing. Peace.